Ash Wednesday 2021 finds us at the start of a Lenten lockdown. It's not a place any one of us wanted to be in. And yet uh, our faith uh, takes the opportunity of walking the 40 long days of Lent with the saviour of the world, Jesus Christ. I hope that this time uh, we're prepared to take the gift of this period as an opportunity for uh, going on an inward journey uh, with an outward purpose. We give ourselves permission in Lent uh, to think about how we're doing with God and being honest about our feelings. The journalist Maggie Nolan wrote in the New Statesman recently these words. We can't expect to find ongoing strength in minimising our sadness. There's a realism about pandemics that we weren't prepared for. Unnecessary and unwanted deaths, uh, separation from loved ones, households that have been completely disrupted for good or for ill and the uncertainties of uh, the economy and our future well-being, not just here, but around the world. And so we can bring all these feelings and thoughts afresh in personal prayer uh, to the living God. It's often thought that Lent is a time for giving up things, but I prefer the uh, teachings of the people like Father Ronnie Knox, who said Lent is a time uh, for taking up things, for renewing ourselves in the power of the Holy Spirit as we reflect on the meaning of life but also the meaning of our own lives. I hope that uh, we will tune in uh, to the offer of courses on virtual communication that are happening in parishes or around the country. I'm delighted that Bishop Anne will be offering a reflection each week uh, during Lent. You might like also uh, to have the app Live Lent on your phone, uh, which is provided by the Church of England, and the encouragement to find our story in the greatest story ever told. I wish you a holy Lent as we uh, reunite again at Holy Week and then the preparations for Easter, walking the way of the cross in the hope of a powerful and joyful resurrection. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let us rediscover that invitation to follow him and to invite others to do the same.